All right, we finally got all the motors working. This is some of the first testing I've done. My X and my Y's are totally screwed up. I gotta fix all this. And I'm not sure my distances are right. Uh, let's see, that was my Y. I'm sorry, that's my X. I'm not sure if that's really supposed to be my X or my Y. I'll have to figure that out. And that's my Y. So we're moving. Using open open builds. Man, I have not figured this stuff out yet. Get pretty cool, but I gotta be careful because all my wires are still a little loose. Here goes nothing. Got my uh Hand on the switch. Oh no. Bigger than I thought it was. Way too big. Oh, it wasn't too big. Do I have enough room over here? I think I do. Just a circle. And it has a cut in and cut out, I think. Is, no, what's it doing now? Oh. It's doing three of them. I accidentally pasted it three times. I bet it's doing three of them. So that was the first one. That's the cutout. There's the cut in. And it's telling the plasma to turn on and off, but I have no idea how to hook up the plasma machine yet. Well, I don't know what's going to happen when it's done here. It may jerk all the way across the room, or what? We'll find. I got to get my hand on the switch. That's it. It's done. It's done. So that was my first non-cut but movement. All right, there you go. JD's garage. Oh, I don't know if I showed you this yet. I got I got a computer box that I built. I can't put this on yet because I got to find a way to get the video cable. The video cable's hanging out the side right now, uh, so I got to fix that. And I still got to build some things on top of it here to hold all my USB ports. But you're gonna love this. This is the side of the machine. You're gonna love this. Ah, I probably got too far back. This is the side of the box. Right. All right, here we go. We are going to try and run our first plasma cut without a plasma cutter using Open Builds controller software uh, with the Arduino software. There's our two motors right there at zero zero point. Let's see what we get here. We're going to go ahead and get the mouse over here and click Run. Give it a whirl, see what happens here. Just got finished setting the uh, inch to inch count. It all worked out exactly where it was supposed to be. So I didn't have to do much to it. I do think I have my XY coordinates different than what I thought they were. It looks like it's running JD's garage from this way to this way. Because there's my three little inside pieces. I set two different paths, one for the inside of the letters, so there was the J, there was the D, the A, R, and now it's doing the last A, I believe. Then it will come back down and do, those are the inside points of the word, red parts there. And then it will come back down, I think. It should be the inside of the A, and now it's going to come back down and do the J. And then the outside of all the other letters as well. Let's just make a J of some kind. Up over, down. I don't know if that's a J or not. Oh, maybe that's the G. Maybe it's going the other direction. I don't know. I'm a little confused on what it's doing exactly. I guess I'd have to get a marker on there and draw it out. You kind of need if you had a visual in here of what it was doing. I don't think you do though in the software. So it'd be nice to watch it play along on the screen. Maybe there is a way to do that. I'll look and see. But this is just a board sitting in here to rest my keyboard on right now. Obviously, I'll be putting a um, water pan in there metal slats and I guess we'll be looking at it more from this side 
which is where I will attach. This is upside down right now. I didn't want to run into something with this thing hanging down, but this is where the uh, plasma cutter will attach. Which is our next step, is getting the plasma cutter attached. That's that. It's done. Nope. Not done. I, I don't know. Okay. You just gotta give it a second, because it does take pauses between, and I'm guessing that's to send a signal to your plasma cutter, which I still need to hook up. I do have the relay in there, and I have the Arduino, and I have the cables going to the Arduino, from the Arduino to the relay. I just don't have that set up to finish yet, so... I don't know my speeds and feeds at all yet, I haven't gotten there. But I do have... It is doing its CNC thing, that's the important part for this. Still going. The only way to tell when it's done is I guess if you looked over here on the screen. It's line by line going through the G-code. So there it is, that'll be the end right there actually. So, caught it right as it was coming up, kind of cool. So uh, I told it to go back to home, whoa, sorry, which I can do again. Uh, if you click, you can't see too far away. It then can go back to home, which I gotta watch out. I got my cables all over the top here, just hanging loose right now. That's it, it's back to home, and um, the motors stay locked until you shut it off. It's pretty locked in there. They're, they're getting, this one gets a little warm. I don't know why this one gets a little warm. This one does not get warm at all, really. So, bigger motor, bigger driver. This one's getting a little warm. So I might want to look at my amperage on that one and maybe turn it down just a hair. I don't want it to suck too, but I, can, I think they're adjustable. Thank you. 